This is the DJI Air 2S sporting a brilliant 20 megapixel one inch sensor capable of recording 5.4K ultra high definition video. But smooth video is completely dependent on smooth movement of the camera gimbal and the drone itself. And this is directly controlled by a group of settings hidden away in the menus. But getting these settings right is the difference between this type of jerky rubbish and something a whole lot smoother. I'm Ian and I play with drones and today, yes, talking about how to get the very smoothest of movements of the camera gimbal and the drone itself to help you get the very smoothest video out there. Look, these settings all changed in a recent update and not only look completely different, but they've also changed their names and labels too. So I thought it'd be a good idea to go through them again now because they are absolutely critical to get right. They not only control how fast uh, the drone and the gimbal moves, but also how smoothly the movements start and stop, as well as how sensitive the stick movements are that make these movements. So in short, they're probably the most important settings uh, to get right for smooth flying. So let us take a quick look now. So to access these settings, you're gonna to go to the main camera settings, the main settings, three dots, top right, uh, go over to control. Then you're gonna scroll down to gain and expo tuning. And inside here, you're gonna see this new screen that's been completely redesigned. So as I said, I uh, did some previous videos on this, but uh, they've changed a lot of the layout and a lot of the terminology as well. So start off with the top. First of all, you can see you've got three different sets of settings. You've got cine and you've got normal and you've got sport. So whatever settings you adjust here, you can do it two different two times as well. You've got three different modes, a set of settings for each of your flight modes. So let's just stick in normal mode first off. At the top, you've got max angular velocity. So they've relabeled this. It used to just be ro yaw or rotational yaw. And all it is is literally how fast does the drone turn from left to right when you're changing the left stick. So let's take it right, uh, right up high. And you can see here, left stick, nice, sharp, ugly. How many videos have you seen like this? Looks absolutely dreadful. So go back in, slide it down. 20 degrees, that's obviously very slow now, full screen, and it's a lot slower. So nicer, but not the end of the story. Let's go in, have a look at that little setting below. I think you probably want it about 30 in truth, but the setting below it is your smoothness. It's directly related. It's how fast does the movement start and how fast or slow does the movement come to a stop? It's like a little buffer that introduces it gently and has a little bit of carry on afterwards. So again, it's on zero at the moment, and you can see when I let go of the stick, it stops immediately. Now, if I go in and take that smoothness right up to the other end, when I start, it starts slowly, and when I let go, it carries on for a little bit. So it has a graduated start and a graduated stop. So it's a very, very useful uh, control. In general, I have a medium speed of say around 30 to 40 degrees per second, but I have quite a high uh, smoothness setting. I have the buffer set to around uh, 80, okay? That will give you nice gradual start and a gradual stop. But what you can also do is affect how much stick movement uh, actually affects how much speed. That's in the next section. So it goes down a little bit, you've got the expos. Now these used to be three separate graphs. Now they've just got the one with three different colors. I'm gonna explain about the yaw because I think that's the most important one. The principle will be the same for the other settings as well. The idea of the expo setting, the exponential setting is how much signal goes to the drone depending on how much of a stick movement you actually make. Do you have to go full lock or can you just do literally a couple of millimeters, quarter of an inch movement to get the movement you want. Again, let's, uh, let's show you what I mean. If we go into the middle one, the yaw, if I push that right across 
to the top. You can see that blue line now has got a lot of vertical in it, okay? So what it actually means is the moment you start moving the stick, you're gonna get quite a high degree of signal going through to the drone. So, as I said, your is the rotation. Let's have a look. Just a tiny little bit, and it starts moving straight away. Just slight stick movement. Now let's go to the other end. Drag it down, so now you can see there's a lot of horizontal on that blue. Now, if I just do a couple of millimeters, tiniest bit of stick movement, I actually have to move the stick quite far before it starts moving. So what does that tell us? It means that if you've got clumsy fingers and you haven't got very good, delicate movements with the uh, stick, you can actually have this setting so that you have to move the stick a bit more before it starts moving. It means that you get a more sensitive, smoother movement. So what I would suggest to you, have a little play. I actually find low, around 2730 is about right for me. There, a little bit of movement does hardly anything. I have to move the stick quite far before it then starts moving. And that's what I want, because basically, I don't want it to start jumping the moment I start moving that stick. Have a little play with the, uh, the Expo settings. The other two settings, uh, pitch and roll is literally what your right stick is gonna do. Again, I don't know why, they used to call it forward, back, left, right, and that was pretty uh, nice and straightforward, but pitch is when the aircraft pitches to go forward and reverses, and roll is when it rolls to the side like that. Now, again, if you push the Expo setting right up, you get a, the red line, you get a lot of, vertical there and it means the moment you touch the stick see how it jerks to the left jerks to the right okay and the same going forwards now if you actually push it all the way the other way now a, a lot of flat now see how much smoother it is and you've actually got to do full stick before you get that full movement slight stick you just get a slight movement. So with all three of the Expos, the more flat you have, the softer and more gentle the stick movement is. Up down is literally up down as well, literally up there, down there. Again, slight stick movement. Go the other way. Now, a little bit of movement, you get gentle movement. In my opinion, the yaw, the middle uh, setting, is the most important. Have a little play, you want quite a nice bit of flat in that graph, and that should do you fine. Right, last settings on this particular screen. Just go facing out to the field here. This is the uh, gimbal pitch speed, okay? So this is literally, when you're changing the, uh, the little gimbal wheel there, how fast it goes down and how fast it goes up, okay? So we're going there. And again, if we take it right up, so you've got a, a high speed, 100 degrees. So if I go here now, full wheel lock, bang, straight down, straight up. Pretty ugly, okay? And conversely, if I drag that right down, then full wheel lock, and you can see how slow, mind-numbingly slow. I actually think uh, midway, again, about 30, 40 is about right, okay? then full wheel lock okay pretty sharp so let's try and smooth that out a little bit let's get it down to say 30 but have a look at the tilt smoothness down below this is exactly the same as the your smoothness that we were just looking at it's a little buffer how quickly will it start how gently will it stop let's push that your that tilt smoothness right up so now when I push the wheel down start I let go and it carries on for a little bit and then comes to a graduated stop. So that's what the smoothness is all about. It's how slowly does it start and how slowly does it end. So I actually find with the, uh, with the gimbal smoothness, you probably want to have a low around 20, 25, maybe 30 max. The smoothness, again, like before, you want high. So obviously when you're flying high, these uh, stick sensitivities are gonna make all the difference. So just to quickly recap those uh, main settings today. Uh, like I said, remember, you've got a version for cine, normal and sport. Angular velocity, 
how quickly is it going to turn left and right? You want that quite low, probably around 35, 40. The yaw smoothness is how quickly or slowly does it start and how quickly or slowly does it come to a stop? You want that quite high. Then moving down, you've got the expose. Middle one is the main one. The yaw again is this rotation. How quickly is it moving from left to right? And it is how much of a stick movement do you need to do to move before it will then start pushing through at, uh, at full, full speed when it's turning. The more flat you have on the Expo, the more smoothness you're gonna have. A lot of vertical, bang, it's gonna go straight up the moment you touch that stick, not good. And then finally, the uh, uh, gimbal control speed. Again, they used to call this the pitch. They've changed all the names, don't know why, but anyway, you wanna have a low pitch speed for when you're changing this uh, gimbal wheel down and then you're going to have a high smoothness so that it starts gently and comes to a stop gently. Okay, so fair bit to take in there, but these settings are absolutely critical for making all your stick movements and the gimbal movements and the drone itself. You need these as smooth as possible and these are the settings that will help you get those movements as smooth as possible. So my best advice is to just uh, go out on a calm day, go away from any trees, get it up in the air uh, with a full battery and just play with these settings and work out which value for which setting works best for you. Uh, take it to the extreme and then you can see exactly what effect it's happening and drag it down. But in general, you wanna have a lower speed and a higher smoothness and that should give you outstandingly smooth video when you're next flying. Okay, so as ever, if you find this useful, give me a little thumbs up, always helps the video cause. Wherever in the world you are, until next time, have fun, happy flying.